I'm sure you're not going to be surprised to learn that there's many different types of testing of code that we can do when we are getting involved in DevOps and software dev. One of the types of testing is for us to test very small components of our overall solutions. This we call unit testing. And you could compare this to some other kind of testing, like maybe regression testing, where you're testing the entire solution to make sure it's compatible with like down-level clients or things of that nature. So let's take a look at a specific exam objective that says we should understand an example of this done in like our Python code. So here's a look at our Python. Notice I am importing a module called unit test. So there is this great built-in module of unit test that we would have in Python to do, you guessed it, unit testing. And then I go ahead and use the unit test test case and I instantiate a class from this called test string methods. And notice I'm going to go in and do a simple test on foo moved to uppercase, transformed to uppercase would be this. So this would test to uh, OK or true. This would test to true. And then my third one, if there is the split between hello and world, this tests out OK. So we do these simple little string method tests and this is going to allow us to see how we can do the unit testing. So I'm going to just switch over to a command prompt. There we go. And at the command prompt, I'm going to say Python and I want to utilize that unit test module unit test and we are going to run that test.py in the unit test modality here and so look at what happens we see the dot 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 those are the three tests and the three tests ran in a fraction of a second and all the tests checked out okay so cool now uh, here's a neat trick do a dash v and this will increase the verbosity and you get to see that, okay, the is upper tested okay, the split tested okay, and the upper tested okay. Now, you know what we have to do here, right? We have to go in and have one of these test false. How about we go in and we just say that this string, uh, you know, we're supposed to take foo and make it uppercase. We'll just force it into lowercase here. And that is going to test false, I do hope. So let me do a control S to make sure I saved that. And now we are going to run our unit test again. And hopefully we see a false condition. And look at that, we do. So not only do we see that one of our tests has failed, in fact, Let's run this with that verbose switch. So we can see that the test that failed was the test upper uh, test, as we would think that it would, because we have a lowercase foo, which is not equal to the uppercase foo. So we get an indication that we ran the three tests and we had one failure and we get the details of what that failure is. So unit testing in Python, yeah, it's a breeze, and we've seen how that can be done, and we also know that unit testing refers to testing small little individual pieces of code.